And the Safdies are these sort of like incredibly facile directors, know exactly everything they want to do, and also are a little anarchic. So you're kind of off balance all the time when you're shooting with them. The reason I did the movie, though, was actually because of the Safdie brothers' earlier movie, Good Time, which blew me away. And I was, it, it, this, this is an experience I have every now and then. It happened with Succession as well, where I look at the work of what these people are doing and I say, I have to, I have to be part of this. I want to... I want to work with these people because they're doing really interesting stuff. From a directing standpoint, I read, you know, Benny is up, he holds, when they used to make their own smaller budget movies, he would hold the boom. He still and does. Benny is still holding the boom when, even when you don't need a boom, there's a boom guy and it's Benny. And that does a weird thing, which puts him right in the scene with you. When you say boom, the, the guy holding the mic, and um, which isn't even done that much anymore. but. Uh, he he's in with you. So when you're in the scene, because nowadays with what's called Video Village, the director can be like a mile away. I've had the good fortune to work with some of the best directors who've ever directed in history, including all the way back, the first thing I ever did really was with Robert Altman. And there's a lot of Robert Altman in the kind of shooting that they do. Altman was somebody who didn't put marks on the floor. He wired everybody and he just said, you know, go for it. And the go for it quality gives you like a little more energized thing, which you get a lot of in this movie, where you feel like you're kind of like a fly in the wall in the middle of a lot of craziness.